Welcome to Suerte del Molino Farm. We are in Andalusia in Spain. We have been away for two weeks. We are back. This is the first week of January. And what is happening? Today we created another basket with a metal mesh, this one, and then a final one, that one, and then a mesh of two millimeter square holes. So there's a lot of compost and sand mixed, and then I planted the seeds. And then I covered them with sand on top. Now, here we have chestnuts, acorns and peaches. So, uh, an experiment. I hope it is a little bit successful. And the concept here is the air pruning of the roots. The tap root, okay, first of all, the idea is it should germinate, which is already a tall order. And then the tap root should go down and it can go through this mesh. And then it realizes this is air, not soil. And then Hopefully it sends a message to the other roots to grow rapidly and not the taproot and the taproot doesn't circle and you have a very strong root system. I hope that is what is going to happen. We also have our tubes where we planted lots of acorns I have hoped by now we have covered half of it, but uh, it is a slow process. We will see. Furthermore, um, this farm is on standstill once again. The middle of December to February. Everything just stops and the same thing happens in the middle of summer. That's why it said we have a bimodal climate. Things grow twice and things stop twice. They pause twice. What is growing? Um, not much. We have lots of grasses. The real weeds, so-called, um, they only start growing when the earth is warmer. And they are the ones that grow meter, meter and a half high, three to five feet. Okay, dogs are happy because the soil is soft, they can dig up all the moles and voles and uh, mice. Uh, it's regularly one comes with a trophy. I've never seen them eating it as such. It's more carried and paraded in front of the others. So, some water in our youngest swale. Um, it is not really an indication that we had a lot of rain. 
it's an indication that we have a lot of clay. Anyway, our peach trees are planted. There's nothing planted on the berm except these trees. I will not do it as in the past where I try to get in seeds as soon as possible because it just doesn't work. I'll wait for warmer weather and then plant. Issue is uh, when that appears, the warmer weather, it's usually also the end of our rainy season. So far we have had 300 millimeters of rain, 300 liters per square meter since September, which is half of last year. Um, it is still 200 millimeters away from subsistence level just to maintain what we have. I'm not talking about even uh, infiltration. Um, the water did not even fill all the swales. So uh, we are short. Let's see how it unfolds. Pond is low. This is where the it becomes clear how specialized this holm oak is. It's producing male pollen. I don't know if there's something like female pollen, but <laughs> anyway, it's producing pollen. <laughs> and uh, the same tree can later on produce the female part of the uh, flower, so he doesn't want to actually pollinate itself. Uh, this is the first one I see, so uh, it's quite strange to me that it's doing it now, but this is the magic of these trees, they take advantage of what is happening when it's rain, when there is rain, when there's water in the soil, then they do their reproductive thing. The essence of life, procreation, leave the neighbors lambs, okay? I know they are very playful objects, but uh, it's not for you. The bulging Matilda is full-ish. I mean, uh, I can pump perhaps another 10,000 liters, but it's okay for now. Um, it is the scary thing. You never know whether to pump it empty. Uh, we don't know when we will have rain, when we, there will be water. So I prefer to keep it as full as possible. Okay. Fallen tree. It is slowly drying out and I'm getting used to it that it's like this once again the only thing that is visibly growing is the holm oak Two more swales 
freshly dug and we planted some peaches and once again nothing on the berm because we have learned to wait it's not my thing in life but uh, sometimes I have to learn something our crossover bridge built last summer not really tested ever I thought I will see what is really happening and then finish all these parts but it was not possible to see okay this is the water it is still seeping still little waves on our daily feedback about the creek flow what is this day 53 uh, in this 53 days about 10 days there was no water but when you dig under the sand it was moist and at places some water so let's for the argument's sake say this is 53 days of having water which is quite a feat the side not much on this swale where I did plant on the berm because the soil was still warm enough we had germination of clover and of what is this called okay it's called kamut and clover still the same height as three weeks ago only height that changed was the deepening of this canal I didn't want to make a big structure because I have some trees here this is the home oak this is the asabuche the wild olive so not much growing or dying except these amazing oaks I hope to have more of them growing till next time goodbye